Hello and welcome to this bug and cat team video. In this video I'll be looking at these Miraculous Heroes dolls I got off AliExpress. They are second dolls so they don't come with all their accessories or their shoes. They are called seconds because they have manufacturing faults so let's open them up and see what is wrong with each doll and what we can do to fix it. So the dolls I got going cheap on AliExpress were Marinette, Ladybug, Queen Bee and Arena Rouge. So let's start off with Marinette because she's not a superhero and then we can do all the superheroes together. So at first glance you might be able to see uh, her lips are not the best painted. Seems to be something in her hair and only one uh, hair made it into the pigtail. She's also got something strange on her face that may come off. Her clothes seem to be pretty well sewn and she's still got plastic on her wrist for the join but uh, this hand has uh, some pink on it. We'll have to see if we can get that off. So let's check out her body. I don't think I've ever seen Marinette in the show without her jacket on so I have no idea if her top is usually sleeveless but this doll comes with a sleeveless top. We've went velcro so then we have to pull it down and the pants came too. So her pants seem to be fine quality. I don't know if the end is supposed to be just cut because in the cartoon she's got a cuff roll. Her top, the print seems to be fine. Oh, there's a small hole there. We could sew if we wanted to. And her jacket. It looks kind of grubby along the collar. I don't know if it's just the thing compared to the cuff it's a lot grubbier. So if we look at the doll she's got something in her joint there but her body seems to be all right condition. I'm not sure how well cut her fringes. Oh, she's got a red stain on her knee. So she's also missing her bag, the Kwame Tiki, shoes and ribbons in her hair. So if you actually haven't seen these dolls joints make some posable like a Barbie made to move um, joints there and on the knees which means you know you can put them in yoga poses so that's marinette so let's look at ladybug so her fringe looks maybe a little choppy. Uh, her painting on the lips seems to be fine. She's got some gunk in her ear but her earrings seem to be fine. She's missing her lace and I think that's something in her hair or the 
cutting gel didn't go so well. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera. She's got kind of a stain on her, her suit there. But this suit seems to be sewn pretty well. She's got these red ink marks on her fingertips. So I'll take off her suit, see what condition she's in. So I think the red ink from her suit is staining uh, the body. She's got yeah more stains on her arm. Um, her knees stained, fingers, elbows, so she's got some stains on her. So next up we have Chloe as Queen Bee. Her face paint seems to be fine, nothing missing there. Uh, she's missing the ribbon from her hair and it's not in a curl. It's a... Uh, half tangled fallen up mess. I've noticed with these dolls they're not overly rooted. Uh, they're not really thick haired, you know. If then if the hair's not in this style then you know it's gonna show bold patches. She's also missing her uh, spinning top, a miraculous and pollen Kwame as well as her shoes. Um, her outfit's got a bit of fluff on it there. Otherwise, seems intact. I'll have a a look. Uh, you can see her body is not so good. It looks like she got mixed up with the super glue or something. Oh, she's got yeah some scratchy glue stains. And some scarring on her arm there. And the back of her head is dirty with something. So she's definitely got a bad knee. The worst body out of all the dolls so far. So this is why she wasn't uh, suitable to be finished and put in a box and sold. Yeah, she's got something funky going on under, under her arm. So, uh, she, yeah, has got body needs a bit more work. I don't think we can get rid of the glue scratch burns, but we'll see what you can do for you, Chloe. Good thing, good thing you've got a suit. All right. And last, we have Rena Rouge. What I kind of miss with this doll is they didn't give her hair the white tips like in the cartoon that the solid color just makes it look like it you just look at it and think something's not quite right uh this doll has a headband instead of molded on ears like the first one the elastic's going on this one so it's gonna fall off soon, but her hair at least got some curl to it. Uh, the plain foxtail. I don't know why the fluff is falling down. You'd think you'd show it more. Uh, it doesn't have any white painting like the cartoon. And the amount of white paint on the middle is different to the first doll release. So she doesn't have her necklace miraculous, she doesn't have her flute, and she doesn't have her Kwame tricks. She also doesn't have any shoes. But nobody had shoes, Kwame's, or accessories. So let's check her body. Yeah, she, she seems to be in a better condition. Her, her, you know, joints are 
a bit different color, but I think that's just because of the type of plastic they had to make them. But yeah, oh, she looks like she's got a stain spot. And some dark there, but she looks uh, in pretty good seconds condition. So I've dressed the dolls again and I'm going to do a kind of series on you know fixing each doll individually and having a go at making as their accessories. I don't think I can make Kwame's. I'm not that good of a crafter but maybe like the flute and the spinning top and the yo-yo uh, and uh, some shoes. Uh, fix their outfits and you know like the white to the foxtail and uh, try and make them a little bit more cartoon accurate so leave a comment which doll you think I should start with first Marinette, Ladybug, Rena Rouge or Queen Bee let me know in the comments